So if you're like me, you went out and you spent a fistful of dollars on one of these really nice AMD FX laboratory grade scales to help improve your reloading or maybe just speed things up a little bit and give you a little bit more confidence in your powder measures. Or maybe you spent a few dollars more on one of the FC models, the FC 300 or something like that. Now the good and the bad and the ugly about these scales, the good is that they're extremely precise, they have great repeatability, and they don't suffer from the same fluctuations or creep that you would see on a strain gauge base scale. The bad is that they're expensive, costing somewhere between $300 to $1,000, maybe even more. Now the ugly, the ugly is that when you turn these scales on, they start on grams instead of grains. In order to get to grains, which you'll use most frequently, you have to cycle through all these modes until you finally get to the setting for measuring grains. It takes a long time. You have to do it every time you boot the scale up. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to reconfigure your scale so that it starts up on grains instead of grams. Furthermore, I'll show you how you can change it so that it only shows grains or maybe grains and grams or whatever units you typically use. So we'll start from scratch. Turn the scale on, wait for it to boot, ready to go. Press and hold the sample button. You'll hold it until it says basic function. Now, you'll continue to press, not hold, just press the sample button until it says unit. Once it says unit, you'll press print. Then it'll show grams. Next, you'll cycle through this using the sample button until you find the unit for grains, which is GN. Now, in order to make this one of the units that you wish to use in your scale, and ideally the first unit so that when it boots, it starts on grains, you'll hit re-zero. You'll notice when I press re-zero, the circle shows up. That indicates that it's been selected. On my scale, I want to use grains and grams. So in order to do that, I will continue to cycle through using the sample button until I get back to grams. I'll then hit re-zero, which indicates it's selected. And just to go over it one more time, I'll cycle back through using the sample button until I come back to grains, you'll see it's still selected, as is grams. In order to save this, hit print, then the calibrate button. Now we're back to square one. If I use mode, you have to click it a few times to go through. You'll see it cycles between just grams and grains. Now, here's the best part. Turn the scale off, turn the scale back on, and you'll see it starts on the unit of grains. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. One last tip, if you wanna take it back to the original factory setting, the process is just as easy. Hold down sample, we'll go back to this menu, continue to click on sample until it goes back to the, it, until it displays unit, press print. Now what you'll need to do is select all of these units in order to make them the default. So here's how you do that. Re zero, it's selected, sample. Re zero, sample. Re zero, sample. Over and over, selecting all these units until we circle all the way back to grams. Hit print, calibrate. I'll turn it off, turn it back on. It should start on grams, it did. If we cycle through, we will see all of the units back again. So this is a pretty straightforward process, as you can see. It takes a little bit of time to get used to it because the buttons, you know, the labels don't really match what it is you're really doing. Um, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll get the hang of it and it won't be a problem anymore. Or for some of you, just watch the video a couple of times, set it one time so that it boosts up to grains and never touch it again, and you'll be good to go.